So far, so good. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm getting. Um, I don't know. I, 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 do I feel like it is making sense? I, I don't know. It's crazy. It, oh, man. It's like you're in a prison. I mean, this prison, you can eat all you want to eat. You can drink all you want to drink. Um, you can watch everything you want to watch, but no internet. No life. Nothing else, but just getting fat and entertaining you guys every morning. Just, please find us now. <laughs> Look at this man. Look at this. Kibe? Yes. This is small brother. <laughs> small brother. You say... It feels like a prison. Would you slightly elaborate on that? It feels good. It feels... Uh, I, don't know. I, don't know how, uh, I don't know how to put it. But yeah, I, I feel like... Uh, I know I can't leave. I have to wait for somebody to win for me to leave. So yes, the fact that I can't leave, I can't do what I want to do. is what is killing me. The prize money has now reached 250000 which is in front of you. Mm -hmm. What is that one thing you tell the eventual winner mm -hmm. of the money? That, that is the only thing that keeps me moving. I know that somebody is going to win this money. right? This will change somebody's life. That keeps me moving. As in, even when I'm sitting here and I, when I'm doing all this, I know that, I mean, come on, think about it. If you are to get 250K now, you're a student, you're doing something. Maybe you wanted to start a business. I started a business with 6,000 bob. Imagine how much more you can do with 250k. That's the only reason why I'm in this house. Otherwise, I've just gone crazy. But every time I think that somebody is going to benefit so much from this, I'm like, oh, this is so, I mean, it's doable. Five days, six days, whatever. I will wait it out. Please, this is for you. Whoever you are, this is like a gift from Kibe to you. How cool is that? Do you feel staying in um, one place uh, enclosed without knowing what the outside, outside world is doing is therapeutic to yourself? I needed it. I needed it. I was getting too dependent on technology. I needed it. I was even, I'm even having a, I'm suffering from some back pain because I'm always looking at my phone for one reason or the other, right? And I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop it. I'm, I know I'm going through this pain. I know I'm, I'm, uh, I'm causing my neck to, you know. But I couldn't stop. So this, this is a fresh, it's like a rehab for me. It's like a, a one-week rehab. And yes, I, I'm not uh, willing to look at my phone. Because, Would uh, you do this again? I think everyone should. I think everyone should just go one week without their phones, one week without technology, one week of just chilling and sleeping. You know, just reset your life. You know, sometimes we're just running through too much. One day after another, you know. I told you there's a time I found myself just packed somewhere and I wanted just one hour of, of sleep during the day. So right now, this is my holiday. What is that one thing that you normally do outside the house that you miss doing? Uh, the one thing I would, I, I, I'm not able to do is to visit my kids, to see my kids. Let's say visit, yeah, see my kids. What is that one annoying thing you have realized from your colleagues that you cannot stand? Like when I watch a movie, I don't want anyone to disturb me for no reason whatsoever, right? And Kamen is there, they are talking and she wants to cook you what and what and she has to pause the movie. It's very annoying. I, I know it's a girl thing. I know they like to do that. Their mind is all, all over the place. And then uh, Case is always just on his headphones. And then once he's done with his headphones, he assumes that life for everybody else has stopped and he's just going to start talking like we don't exist. You know, take off your headphones, wonder what the hell is going on first before you start talking. Yes, very annoying. Very annoying. This Two more days, I'm going to hurt somebody. Thank you very much. Next diary session tomorrow at 2 p.m. Energy Radio.